So I don't really have a plan for this video quite yet, and we're just gonna kind of fly by the seat of our pants, but does anyone, does anyone run their fuel tank in a power stroke lower, or any diesel, I guess, lower than like the 50 mile mark? You know, 50 miles till empty, whatever. So that's where we're at, and I almost never do it just because I'm scared of all the, like any kind of sludge and shit out of the, uh, out of the fuel tank getting in there, but going through the fuel system. Because um, as we know, fuel contaminants are not good. All right. So so really what I was wanting to do here was do a little acceleration test. You know, right now I'm going to turn the air off. I'm going to turn my air conditioned seat off just so we're not putting any load on any alternators or anything. And the other thing I wanted to ask everybody was, is there a way... How the f this is super bright. There we go. Is there a way I can take the... This is a platinum. Can I take the other alternator, the secondary alternator off and put another fueler there? Because I really want to I really want to push the limits. I really want to push 700, maybe 720 horse. I'm still on stock everything else, stock bottom end and, and everything. I just really want that extra stuff, but man, I it's such a big amount a large amount of money to put a new bottom end because once i'm in there i'm not going to just do a bottom end i'm going to do uh pistons sp uh, va valves for 110 pounds valve springs um maybe ported heads probably not though you know i so that then, then i'm going to rack up rack up a th ten thousand dollars worth of parts and put it in there because i'm in there if i'm doing a bottom end i'm just going to do it all I don't know, it's, it would be so stupid to, to just put a fueler in here and really get after it, but man, I really want to do it, holy, or go, you know, like an extra Jeep, uh, 33%, or no, do they make a 33% over pump? I know they make a 10% over, or 10 millimeter pump, whatever. You can do that, the replace, stock replacement pump, just do the single pump too, which maybe is a better option. And I gotta put it in there and shit. All right, so, yeah, sorry, okay, that was a lot of tangents. Um, and now I don't know if we have, I really wanted to do it on this road because this is freshly paved here in Mexico, um, the road without any speed limits. It's a lovely road. Um, maybe we'll do it up there. I also don't really want a four-wheel drive launch this thing, but we're only running about 600, 650 horse, so. What could it possibly break? Um, and it's going to be hard videotaping it because I, what I wanted to do was get the camera focused on the speedometer um, so we could get like a 0 to 60 time. So that means I'm going to have to drive with my knee because I need to be filming with actually with my left hand. And I need to be, from what I understand, shifting, you know, from what, how I've always done it, what, how I've been under the impression that you just get these off the line the quickest you can is you put your, you put it in second, manual seconds, tow mode on, and then flip it into drive once you, you're maxed out on your second gear. So it's a little bit of an ordeal. Let's see if we can't do it up here. Hold on. All right, hopefully I have found the second second to least busiest road oh it's yeah this is this is the this is a good road so classic mexico look obviously all right all right here we go i gotta turn the ac back off because i had to drive a little bit okay hopefully no one pulls in behind me four wheel drive engaging manual Second gear, shit, there's someone behind me. Fucking A. And there's someone coming up on us too. God damn it. This did not work out. It's fucking motorcycles, three wheelers, obviously. They're looking at us. Oh, weird when they passed us. Sons of bitches. Mind your own fucking business. All right, Tozo, turn those fuckers off. Here we go. Got some open road ahead of us. Open Mexican road. I think we're gonna try 20 pounds of boost. But how am I going to do this? Oh my god, this is going to be impossible, guys. Alright, 
let's just try it. Who gives a shit? I've done that once, kind of half-assed, and it did not feel like that. Holy shit, I, it doesn't feel like we broke anything. Okay, obviously I got a call in the middle of that shit. Holy shit, guys. I am super excited to put a timer on that. If you guys can put in the video too, please time it yourselves, because maybe that'd be, I don't even know how to time it really. You know what it is? I'll tell you exactly why that was so fast. We've got like a sixteenth of a tank. That's no weight. We're hauling around no weight in fuel. That's what it is. Okay. Hot tip for everyone. You'd listen here. If you want to launch your uh, compound power stroke, do it with no fuel. Because <laughs> holy shit. I, I, I've done that a couple of times before I had it compound turboed. And it did not feel anything like that. I I thought we were going off the road because I couldn't keep I couldn't get my hands on the wheel and my phone and the gear shift. Um, but it's a good thing we're here in Mexico and there's no laws of about, about driving uh, with no hands. You know, if we were back in the United States, obviously it'd be a big deal that I was distracted driving and. Um, you know, driving basically with no hands and two feet, but not here. That's the lovely thing about Mexico. <laughs> Bad news. <clears throat> um, on the way back from Mexico, and I forgot to bring my wallet on this excursion. And so it's about 30 miles back home from Mexico um, and we have 25 miles till we're empty and also you may see here British Petroleum exists in New Mexico there in Mexico but they don't have diesel obviously why would they that would make too much sense to be on a main thoroughfare and not have any diesel so uh Let's hope we can make it uh, home. And also, so we got to get home, get money, then go to a fuel station, which is 12 miles away. The closest place is 12 miles away from my house to the closest fuel station. So now we're at 24 miles still empty. Let's see how accurate this thing is. It's really going to really gonna suck if we run out of fuel out here because then, uh, yeah, then we're going to get towed. Oh, man. Fuck. Another fuel station. They have mobiles in Mexico, too. Hmm. Let's see if they have diesel fuel. Nope. Never have, never will. God, what the fuck is with people out here? This is such dog shit. No diesel fuel in Mexico. Hopefully when we make it back to Wisconsin, there'll be some diesel up there. 22 miles. Well, I feel like we would definitely have gone further than 22 miles. Or, sorry, further than three miles. Because last time we were at 25 or 24, maybe. And I checked. It definitely was longer than that. So, I know for sure that there's no fuel stations between here and the house. No fuel stations at all. I, I knew that that one didn't have diesel. I didn't know that that BP, that first BP, I thought they did maybe, but um, I must not go down that way in Mexico too much, but I've driven past that mobile a thousand times, and I know they don't, but it just pissed me off. As soon as I need it, I almost never need anything, but now I need it, and they don't have it for me. Fuck them. Okay. We, uh, so we made it back to Wisconsin, and... We're like only a couple miles from home 
and it says 16 miles, 15. So obviously, obviously this is just a calculation based on what the vehicle thinks the consumption rate of fuel is. And we do have that information on what the vehicle thinks it's consuming. Um, whether that be calculated based off of the tank gauge over miles driven or, uh, you know, based on what it injects through the pump. I actually don't know how that's calculated. I would like to know that because I've always wondered. But this says 14.9 miles to the gallon, which is obviously dog shit. But the thing about this vehicle is it's it's a leisure vehicle. You know, I only drive it on the weekends and every time I drive it, I'm wanting to hear that other charger, you know, hear the whole go fast and, and accelerate quickly and everything. Not too fast, unless we're in Mexico, then we're going, but we're going normal speeds. So that is interesting. We've gone 30 miles and it's only dropped 15. And I, I have been driving very gingerly because I know I do have to get to the fuel station, which is 12 miles away. I mean, homes, homes come up. Hey, cyclists, bicyclists. JK, I'm a motorcycle guy too, though. Um, a nice man mowing the ditches and shit. Hello. Here's home. So that was interesting, though. I, it was. It's cool to see that if you drive irresponsibly, almost always, like I do, you can train your vehicle to think that you have way less fuel than you actually do, and you're going to be able to go a lot further when you start to drive gingerly. So know that.